Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. You want to have some fun today and make a burrito the easy way with an envelope? Another awesome way to uh, make a book page layout in a junk journal. And um, anybody can do it. It's super fun. As you can see, I've already been at it today. Yes, I have. Yep, yep. Okay, so let me show you the prototype. Very simple design, very simple construct. And here it is. Okay, so basically it works as you could either say it's a giant fat belly band or it's a burrito. And inside I have, I was originally going to put some stationary paper in it. I bought this really, you know, I think it's pretty stationary. But I thought, wait a minute, what is stationary paper? Stationary paper is basically close to copy weight paper, maybe a little lighter. Um, but then I thought, gee, I have all this scrapbook paper that I've never used and I really need to use it up. And if I cut it down to size, it's really stationary paper if I just look at it with new eyes. So that's what I thought I would do. Okay, so if you don't have stationary paper, you can use your scrapbook. Uh, thin paper, one-sided. Go for the thin stuff. So basically, I just, uh, what did I do? I just rounded the edges. I inked around the edges. And then I just did some light stenciling on the inside and I put just a little bit of this and a little bit of that here and there to decorate it just for fun. It was just goofing around. Uh, that was actually hiding a bluebird right there. I, I dropped something on there that uh, had to cover. So that's what started that. And I think I covered something there too. <laughs> and uh, here's a little leaf stamp. So I made it, uh, I incorporated it into the design. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So that is that. And uh, that just slides right in there and I'll show you how to make it. It's very easy. Okay. Closer look at prototype. I inked around the edges. It's an envelope. I did some stamping on it with a little bit of liquid pearls and wrapped a ribbon around the center. And this is how I did it. Okay. You can go over there. So I think I used this size envelope and this size envelope is a seven by five. You can use any size envelope, it will work. Um, it just, you'll put something thinner inside of it, that's it. So what I decided to do was, again, I am gluing the uh, envelope closed with my art glitter glue. Isn't that lovely? Lovely label, well used, well loved, lasts forever. It's a wet white glue that holds really well. Okay, there we go. And any of the things that you see me use, I usually try and put links down below for my favorite tools and supplies. Um, and also check in my Amazon store if you just want to click once and see everything all at once. It's just easier shopping. Okay, now, so I decided again to use the form of the envelope to uh, make, to follow it. And I grabbed my uh, pinking shears. Come here, pinking, there they are my pinking shears, my well-loved pinking shears, and I decided to follow the lines of the envelope. So basically I just cut in here and then I cut in here. So I'm gonna do that. And now there's probably some like horrible rule I'm using this on paper when these are spent, supposed to be only used on fabric, but you know, I'm doing it. And you can get other scissors like, uh, where, are they? where are they? Those, you know, those cheapy scissors, uh, they, they sometimes come with pinking designs on them if you want to only use paper and save your pinkers for just uh, fabric, uh, if you're so inclined, but it was fine for me. Okay, there we go. And same thing on the other side. So we just cut it. And once we do that, we are pretty much done the basic construction, which is kind of fun. So you can make a bunch of these watching uh, telly or uh, your favorite YouTube channel, something like that. All right, there we go, come on up. All right, there we are. So we have this, isn't that wonderful? Now I thought this in the center might be a little bit weak, so I thought I would reinforce it with something and my uh, brain answered with uh, seam binding, but technically you could use uh, lace, you could use um, anything that you can wrap around it to give it a little bit more structure. But since I am gluing a <clears throat> fabric to paper. I'm going to use Fabrifix clear silicone glue for that because it's really good for that. You don't need very much of this. Just grabbing any scissors. Oh my god, the desk is a mess. All right, maybe about that much. Okay, maybe three, four inches. And uh, then I'm going to just plop a little bit of a glue here and a little bit of glue on the back. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue it. Okay, I'm going to start on the back. Okay, about in the middle. And I'm gonna come around this way. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just wrapping it. And 
unwrapping it. And then, <clears throat> just make it a little shorter because I'm going to glue it on the back. It's closed. I'm going to use the old Fabri Fix again. And the, the seam binding is very flat, so it's uh, it makes it nice to use in junk journals because it's a very flat, thin fabric, which is uh, very conducive to junk journaling. Um, yes. Okay, so now we have that. And uh, now I, I inked around the outside, so let me go ahead and do that. Where's me ink? Where's me ink? Here it is, using walnut stain. This is wal <laughs> walnut stain, one, one, uh, one shade, one beautiful dark shade of ink going around the outside. Me. Yeah, no, I, I used walnut stain last time. Yeah, I did. So I don't have my vintage photo out. All right. I should go for one or the other. It doesn't matter. Um, walnut stain is a little bit darker. So if you want a little bit more pronounced definition, you can do that. And I'm not going to fight the white so much on this. I'm going to use some stamps to uh, contrast nicely with the white to get some impact. Now... Last one I did. There, that's the inking. That's done. Pretty easy peasy, right? Um, I did a leaf stamp, but I would say this time, let me grab what I can grab here. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this. Here it is. I don't know what it is, but I have it. Uh-huh. It's a paisley flower. Okay. So I used black ink so that it would contrast nicely with the brown. And let's see how this works. I'm not supposed to rub. I'm supposed to daub. Somebody said, but eh. You know, we do our best around here. Okay, so let's put one here. Oh, that's kind of cool. And let's put one here. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I like that. Now, the question is, am I done? I'll look at the other one again. Okay, I did a little decorating on that one, so I'll do a little decorating on this one. Um, I will add some liquid. Can you see that? liquid pearls oh, can't see because of my glasses i can't see it all <laughs> in brass okay um you know i think I'm, I'm having the urge i want to i want to grab a stencil i i do i'm grabbing one i'm over here grabbing one don't give up on me here okay all right what's that here's some tree-like things uh -uh. that's probably not what i want hang on I grabbed two different stencils and what am I compelled to use? See, that's fancy. So maybe I want more plain in the background. All right, I'm gonna go with plain in the background. So I'm just gonna grab this pa uh, makeup paddle brush and I don't know what color, I think it's brown that's on here. I'm just gonna go lightly over just to give it a little bit of a design. Okay, what do I got? Oh yeah, I like that. All right, let me go up here, get a little more. Okay, what do I got? Yeah, I like that, it's kind of good. Can you see? Okay. So we're just uh, intensifying the overall designing, giving a little more to look at. Yeah, the white was too white all of a sudden. Um, okay, here we go. Maybe a little bit more right there. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that's kind of cool, huh? So, um, now I did a little bit of accentuating with the brass pearl, the brass liquid pearls, and I came down the center and I gave it three little buttons. Okay, came me down the center. One, two, three. Okay, I did that. And now I did some decorating the leaves, but since I don't have those those exact leaves as I do here, I'm gonna do something with should, I could do like lines up and down the side, or I could just dot every leaf, and maybe I'll I'll do the leaf dots because I think that might look kind of cool. Just random little dots on these leaves as I see them. Having fun. Playing with the liquid pearls. Very quick, very easy. Okay, did those. i put one there. All right, now let me rotate it. Don't touch anything, Pam. Don't touch anything. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Okay, that's enough. All right, coming back around. All right, so there we have that. Let's take a look at what we got. 
It's kind of cool looking, right? And you can slip anything that you would like behind that. And I think I pulled out this paper because I thought that would look kind of cool. So let me just cut this down to size. Let me show you how I... Oh, be so careful not to touch the liquid pearls when they're drying. Okay. It has to be skinnier than this thing. So I'm going to measure to about here. Then I'm going to fold this in half. So I'm going to know where to cut. So that little mark is going to tell me i got to fold to there. Okay. And if I get these lined up, then I can just fold it down and it's even. And then I just cut this off. So let me cut that with my guillotine. Okay, now I just want to make sure I'm not too long. So maybe about there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that. Now I want to round the, do something fun with the corners. I have this little goofball I got in a grab bag somewhere at Goodwill. It's a Fiskar thingy with four corner thingies. All right, let me uh, just gently move you out of the way. And I'm going to make some corner stamps here, or corner punches. Maybe I'll do you. I haven't done you yet. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. We'll do all four. That's what I did on the other one. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's there's like a an enhanced corner. <laughs> okay, we're going to town. We're trying to use stuff we don't always use. I don't remember we have it, right? Okay, put that back over here. Yeah, if you haven't checked out your local thrift shop, um, you can really save money on craft supplies because uh, a lot of people get rid of their craft supplies. And um, that's when we swoop in. We do, we swoop. All right, so now then I went ahead and, oh, you know what? I'll use this one this time. I'll ink the inside of this with a lovely shade of brown yet again because this is going into a journal that will likely be a, like nature mystery journal. So I want to kind of use some shading and things like that. Let me get this guy. He can go a little faster. He's got a little more ink on him. Yeah. There we go. All right. And then we'll ink around this side. Am I shaking you? Sorry, probably shaking the table. All right. And I don't mind if I crumple the paper a little bit because I think it's kind of nice when papers are crumpled and they're found inside of books because it makes them look like they've been handled and um, well loved. All right, so now I'm just gonna put this guy here. All right, and I'm just gonna use whatever's left over on my stencil to kind of go around and do some of this action. How'd I do? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll flip this over. Maybe I'll flip it over that way. How about that? <laughs> totally fancy. Fancy pants. Fancy pants has entered the building. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Yep. Yep or do. Okay, so there we go. We have some pretty stenciling on the inside. So now it's very pretty writing paper, right? Who needs stationery? Psha, not us. We can make our own. That's right. It's just paper mm -hmm. with pretty prettiness on one side and then some writing area on the other side or the prettiness you write on. And we made some prettiness. So there you go. I'm going to ink up these corners, make them look really dirty. So I think that will emphasize the fact that this paper has been around for a very long time. Somebody was saving it. it meant something to somebody. That's right. Okay, we have that. Let's put that here. Do the same thing. Get all the corners. Going down the side. All right. Doop a doop a doop. 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 There we go. Yeah. You can see it has a little more aging. And this paper has a lot of the patina and browns and um, already in it, giving it some weathered aged look, which I just love. Okay. There we go. <laughs> My parrot has learned how to say Alexa. Yeah, that's dangerous. Uh huh. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Life at our house. Okay, so this has no real upside down or downside up, but I'm going to declare one. And let me see what I did in here again. Here's the other one I had. All right, I put some little doodads in there. So let me grab some doodads. I'm going to grab what's on my desk. That's right. I'm, going to, I'm, I'm all the way. Oh, there. I got some stuff. I'm going to stick this in there. It's a piece of lace and a piece of green that's going somewhere in here. What else have I got? A piece of that. All right, and I need a, a stamp or something. I need some stamps. All right, let me find them. Hang on. 
Okay, I found this little acorn stamp. Haven't used it in a hundred years, but today's its day. So let's see. Um, I'll decorate this one a little bit differently. And this is just going to be random. Random ideas here. How'd that come out? Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll put two of you, one of you here and one of you here. Well, maybe you need doubles. Be cute, right? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's cute. All right. And let's glue these babies down. Now that we're working with a little bit of uh, fabric fix here, because we're gluing fabric. I'll just put you on an angle. I don't know what to do with you really. I'll just stick you over here. All right, stick you there. Just say, it's almost gonna work like that. It was a, maybe a lock from a dress or something like that that somebody prized. And here's maybe a little of the lace from the dress. Maybe here, who knows, we don't know. It's all a mystery why this is here. Yeah, somebody else got to figure that out. Am I going to use this one? Is that, oh, is that overkill? Oh, I could put two there. I could. Yeah, maybe I won't use you. All right, but I will, I will put a word. How about this? What is this? Genuine article? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Nah, nah, no, I got to find something. Hang on. All right. I found something here that's talking about champagne cocktails. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm going to use this because this book is a mystery. Oh, and this one is for one serving. Isn't that cute? <laughs> this is how you make one. <laughs> Party of one, please. Yeah, no, nobody else is coming. Just bring me my champagne cocktail, please. Yep. All right. Tearing this out. And I have no wa idea why this is going in this journal other than it's a mystery. So this is going to be... The book of mystery. Yeah, I like that idea. All right. So sometimes, you know, you have this idea of what you're going to make in your head and then the journal starts to make itself. It says, no, I want to go in this direction and I would like to be the book of mystery with a splash of nature. Let me put you over there, my little winged butterfly. And who am I looking for? My brown. Here you are. Okay. And I think I'm going to do the technique of the crumple. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, because that's going to look like somebody saved this little recipe because they really wanted it because maybe it, it was important to them or they went somewhere and had one of these and they just thought, oh my gosh, I have to remember how to make this. I'm going to use a little bit. This is a little leftover green. I don't know why I just put some green on there. Yeah, make a little more aged. And I guess the front has a little blue, so I'll put a, uh, just a little blue on it. Just a bit of it there. Okay, that's good. Maybe just a little there for the balance. Okay. We might even do a little of that here. Have a little bit of blue in that corner. Okay. Come down the side a little bit. Yeah. Just like, and then we'll just do this around this side a little bit. Give it a little bit of blue too. How about that? Yeah. More in the corner there. Okay. Here we go. There's always so much left on your daubers. So always remember that you don't always have to keep dipping and dipping. You know, you can always, okay. So this is on that angle. And that one's on that. We gotta do somebody. This has to go this angle. Yeah, let's do him a different angle. I need a little more brown. Making a little aged and a little weathered. Okay, there we go. That's good. All right, I can use the art glitter glue for this. That would be paper to paper with the wet white glue. Works very well. The uh, Fabrifix will also work, but um, it's it's very expensive, and this only distributes a tiny little bit every time with the. Uh, metal nib on the end. So this thing lasts forever. Um, so it's a little bit more economical. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have that. Well, that says something now, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Okay. All right, liking that. All right, so now let's see. Let me bring back old prototype. Take a look at prototype again. So here's prototype. And this guy went inside. Now he popped nicely because he was on a blue background. Well, let me show you a little better. He was on a blue background, so that popped very nicely. Um, this actually doesn't pop that much because it's also blue on blue. But what are you saying? I should put this one in here? Is that what you said? Well, no, I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> All right, but now I don't want to put another one of these in the same book. So I have another book over here I'm also going to be working on. So I might as well just pull you out. Hello, mister. You are this guy. You are similar. And uh, we will just put you in here somewhere. So let's find a page that you would look pretty on. Okay. Oh, that looks kind of pretty, but you're a little too papery for me. Thank you very much. Oh, this might look nice. That's an avocado. 
I think it's avocado dyed. That looks kind of cool, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so how I'm gonna glue this down is all I'm gonna do is run the glue here and here. That's it. And I'm gonna use Fabrifix. You can use um, the art glitter glue, but just um, I have the sandy right here. And you just wanna make sure it dries really well before you stick your paper, your um, writing paper or whatever you're gonna tuck in there. You can put anything, you can put a little piece of an atlas. You could put, um, you know, any pretty paper. If you have any old ephemera, you could do that. And putting this down. Okay, putting it in place, giving a little pressure. And it will grab relatively quickly, so we'll be very happy about that. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I'm pushing on this now, and thankfully, those liquid pearls have dried. Whew. Okay, um, so this is what it looks like. That looks kind of cool, huh? And this uh, paper in the background already has some nice modeling on it, so I don't need to feel like I have to do too much to it. And uh, now I'm going to see if I can just slip this in here. Make sure everybody and his uncle slides in. Come on. There you go. Very sits very easily. And everybody asks me, is it going to fall out the bottom? No, nope. no, nope, it's not going to fall out. The tension with the pages will hold it in place. So uh, unless for some reason you didn't push this down tightly, so it's pressures out that way, um, it should hold it just fine. So I, I don't have a problem with those things falling out the bottom, if that if that is a question in anybody's mind. So there you go. How's that cute little apple banana for you? Yeah, did you like that? Uh, so um, if you like these kinds of videos, please, please feel free to go ahead and click the notification bell down beside the subscribe button. And that way you'll be notified every time I put out a video. And um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it. And make sure that you uh, uh, check out my Amazon store. I think I told you about that already. There's a free checklist down below here as well, along with a note from the bookmaker um, that you can get if you go into my description drop box down below the video. And my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And my podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I have a lot of information about there that's in addition to what is on my videos. I don't um, upload my audio for my video. It's, it's new content, basically. So come on and have a listen. If you're a uh, junk journal, uh, you know, you just can't get enough of junk journals, come on out and have a listen. We're always talking about something related to junk journaling. And um, the we is me. And um, <laughs> uh, But sometimes I have a guest. So there you go. Um, I put my playlists down below. So if you're looking to follow a certain topic, like using up book pages or journal page layouts or journal constructions, you just click on that or you go to my channel and you find the playlist and you can uh, follow that uh, stream of consciousness as well. Or you can go to the end of each video and I try and put a link to a bunch of different playlists that might make it easier for you to find. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Etsy, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. I um, have a Facebook group that's a lot of fun where um, we do weekly and monthly challenges. It's a very fun, friendly, social, supportive group. And if you're new or if you're well seasoned, it doesn't matter. You're, ring <laughs> you're welcome to come on over and play. And um, we love to help each other when we struggle and uh, are having a challenge or a problem or you're wondering about something. It's a great place to ask questions. You're more than welcome just to lurk and hang out and watch and see what everybody else is doing and making. And you're also welcome to jump right in and have some fun yourself. So uh, there's no pressure, uh, nobody's graded, and um, it's a very, very supportive place. So if you have a lot of questions or you wanna show me what you've made, it's an awesome place to do that. I love to see what you guys make. Um, thrills me to no end, believe me. Uh, my whole goal is that everybody learns how to make a book so we can pass that craft on to the future generations. So um, that that's what it's all about. Um, remember that fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon. If you haven't checked out my digi kits, I've just started making some digi kits and I uh, made some vintage ephemera digi kits. So please check those out in my Etsy store and the link is down below if you're interested in those. That's pretty much it, guys. I will talk to you next time. I'll be coming at you soon with a, a whole ton more ideas. Um, I really had fun. I love hanging out with you guys. Uh, it just it makes it a lot of fun for me to know that you guys are out there and we're all crafting together. So talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.